Hi, welcome to Rockton Rebel, and this is yet another comparison. And I thought that we would do, like, I would do the introduction a bit more sort of civilized, not scream and stuff like no, that. So, uh, and here she is, the one and only, someone, someone. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> welcome to another comparison, and this time around, we are going to do a comparison between Performance de Marley's brand new, sort of a brand new, Haltan and uh, Initios Food for Greatness. So this is a comparison that has been requested by quite a few of you guys out there. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. So like always, we have the dry downs on paper strips, but let's start with the opening and let's start yes. with the opening of Initio Oud for Greatness. So yeah. the notes are lavender, saffron, nutmeg, oud, patchouli, and musk. So please do share how you feel about the dry down. How is she? <laughs> the opening. Can so, I please smell the opening yeah. first? Uh, so please do share how you feel about the opening. Woody, a bit harsh in the opening, mm -hmm. but I know that the dry down is worth waiting for. It's kind of woody, a bit sweet, something spicy, but that's about what I pick up. Yeah, the opening to me really is focused on something spicy uh, and that saffron. Yeah, no, I Those get Those two are like the Definitely. most prominent parts yes. of the opening. Yeah. And uh, you said that you felt that it was a bit harsh. And I, I actually really enjoy the opening. The opening has something bright, but bright in a spicy way. So yeah. not bright, fresh way. I think no. I was smelling a bit too much alcohol in the opening. Ah, okay. Ah, and okay. now that I get the second opening, ah, okay. what do you say? Um, I can definitely pick up the same. It's a soft opening. It's really nice. I love that saffron note. I think the opening is a fantastic one and that I am going to give the opening like a big thumbs up. What about Only you? Only a big thumbs yeah. up. Um, okay. The opening is two thumbs up. Whoa, okay. So both of us really enjoy the opening of Oud for Greatness. Yes. Let's try the opening of Haltan and I yes. am going to read up the notes. Bergamot, lavender, clary sage, and then we have saffron, cedarwood, praline, elder wood, patchouli, vetiver, musk, leather, and oud. How do you feel about the opening of Haltan? I would say kind of fresh green. Yeah. Um, a bit ambery, but there's no amber in it. Yeah. But there's something warm and sparkling there. Um, I don't think it's sweet. It's more like fresh green. Yeah. And I get uh, a bit of freshness. And that freshness to me is like a bit of citrus and then sort of like an aromatic kind of freshness. Yes. So more like herbal freshness yeah. actually than citrusy freshness, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. But you can definitely pick up on some of that freshness in the opening. Yeah, you can. Do you think that the opening is similar to for greatness. That initial freshness goes down quite quickly yes. and in comes I think that lavender together with the saffron yeah. and just a bit of that like a short part of the mids is what I feel is sort of a similar to Wood for Greatness. So if you sniff the opening of Wood for Greatness how do you feel? Is there any similarity? There is yeah there is some similarity yeah but I would say they are far away from each other. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And I think the opening of Ultra Greatness is quite amazing. Mm. And the opening of Haltan is not that exciting. Ah, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, I did a really like a thorough, at least to me, like a thorough comparison between these two. So I sniffed them side by side through the opening to through to the mids and the dry down. And the part that I found had the most sort of similarities between the two we're really like a short part of the mids. And to my nose, it's really the saffron and something else that is behind that. Then they went in completely different ways. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel about the opening of Haltan? Is it like a, a like? Is it as um, good or better than Old for Greatness? It's a like. It's a like. Almost. Uh, Old for Greatness is a love. Ah, okay. I think I agree. I mean, both of these have really nice openings, but there's something about Wood for Greatness that I think is just amazing yes. right from the start. Yes. Please do try the dry down of yes. Wood for Greatness. Woody, polished wood. The saffron is much lighter. Now this is just like this woody, a bit sweet, mm. a bit 
slightly spicy, woody, elegant one. Yeah, I mean, I've always said that wood for greatness is fit for a king. That's you, by the way. It smells like a royal kind of wood. Yeah. It's elegant, it's truly beautiful. To me, it's mostly like a beautiful, super mass appealing kind of oud. I don't find this one to be funky or anything like no, that. Not at and all. it has that sort of spiciness to it, and something that just brings it this warm, almost, I'm not sure fuzzy is the right word, but there's this sort of an energy to it yeah. that I really enjoy. Yeah. It's not this flat and boring kind of oud. No, and that's the thing about it. It's like, you, you just really can't stop sniffing it yeah. because it's not flat, it's not boring, it's interesting, it's nuanced and you can't really get hold on what it is that makes yeah. it so amazing. Yeah. And that's why you have to keep sniffing it. And this is only on the strip. I would say that the effect of that is even bigger when you smell it on yeah, someone. Yeah, definitely. Because so is it a like? Is it a double thumbs up? Is it a love? Is it whatever? This what is a love. Oh, okay. And I do know that this is one of your fragrances for life. Yeah, so I'm um, guessing you are going to say love yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this one. I'm gonna link to my fragrances for life video about where I featured this one in. I think it's a fantastic fragrance. So yeah, I love the dry down. So please do try the dry down of Haltan. Yes. What Much better than the first time I smelled it, mm. but I am still not in love. Ah, okay. It's, okay. Uh, it's fresh. It's sort of aromatic, it's a bit woody, mm. but I think it lacks a bit of personality. Okay, so the dry down of Haltan to me is really focused on primarily on two things. So you have that oud and the oud to me is even sort of a more mass appealing than oud for greatness yeah. because it has that sweetness to it. So it's sweet oud and it's sweet oud on musk, which creates this sort of a warm and soft base with that saffron on top and just a hint just a hint of leather underneath it all but it's very very soft so this is like a sweet oud compared to oud for greatness which is to me more spicy oud yeah. and that to me are clearly the biggest differences between the two yeah this is sweet oud this is spicy oud very different and i would also say that I mean, both are woody because we're talking about old. Yeah. But I would say that uh, Haltan is also more woody on in other yeah, aspects. Yeah, yeah, like besides more besides the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haltan definitely has a certain kind of sort of a richness to its woody side. Yeah. I mean, I really like it, and I do feel that it's it's going to be very hard for people to dislike Haltan. Yes. Because it has that sweetness, and that sweetness adds something sort of essential and very mass appealing sort of a qualities to the blend. Yeah. So, uh, what, I mean, yeah, you're obviously, you said it before, you're not the biggest fan of Haltan, but how do you feel about the dry down? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it bad? Boring? I'm gonna say, say like this. Uh, Haltan is growing on me. And I think that, I mean, if I try it like 10 times more, mm. I'm probably going to love it. Mm -hmm, okay. But I'm not sure yet. Okay. But I do think that you are absolutely right in that people are going to enjoy Haltan and maybe even more than Old for Greatness mm. because as you say, that sweetness appeals to more people. Yeah. So I recently did a review of Haltan. I'm gonna link to that one above. So please do make sure you check it out. Haltan to me is really something that opens up with some sort of a freshness to it and then dries down to a sweet oud. Initial's oud for greatness opens up in a more spicy way and then dries down to what to me is like a spicy oud. Both have saffron in them and that part is sort of what I feel is the most similar between the two. But Haltan has this freshness in the opening that does not exist in Initial's oud for greatness and it has a sweet side to it that also does not exist in Oud for Greatness. So those to me are like the biggest differences between the two and I do not feel they are identical. No. So with that said, let's compare them in different ways. So what kind of vibe are you getting from these two? Both are very elegant, yeah. both are very easy to use even though they are Oud fragrances. Yeah. I think that you could definitely, if you are working at an office, you could rock both of these and you can also rock them on a date mm. and like whenever. Okay, and I am going to agree with you. I think both are elegant, but I think I mentioned this in a previous video that I feel that Oud for Greatness is the gentleman coming into the room 
like claiming the attention, grabbing the attention in a really elegant way with uh, quite a big dose of sexiness to it. Uh, Haltan to me is more like the playboy coming into the room and just hitting on all the women. You know something? Something like that. You really need to stop talking about Haltan as the playboy because I'm just starting to okay. dislike okay. this even more okay. every time you say it. But I think both are attention grabbers. Both will definitely get you noticed. Uh, but Oud for Greatness is more elegant and classic to me. Whereas Haltan has something a bit more sensual to it thanks to the sweetness. Yeah, and maybe a bit more something a bit more casual because of the freshness and the yes, aromatic side. Definitely. So seasons, when do you think people can use these. So I would say that in the colder months of the year definitely, in the warmer months maybe not that much, yeah. but I do know that I mean in very warm countries they use a lot of oud yeah, they and do. they enjoy it in the warm weather as yeah. well. So if there is any kind of oud I would enjoy in the warm weather I think it's the polished ones. Yeah. So uh, maybe in the warm weather. Yeah I agree I mean these are perfect uh, colder sort of a weather scents. So they are perfect for fall, winter and spring but I actually use Haltan quite recently so it's yeah. like late summer and it's gorgeous and I've worn Initius Oud for greatness as well when it's been a bit warm outside and I think it develops in a beautiful way. So who do you think should buy Haltan and who do you think should should buy wood for greatness. Now I think uh, probably anyone can rock a fragrance if they are in the right mindset and owns that fragrance. But I do think that maybe uh, younger guys won't be that into these mm, ones. Okay. Uh, but anyone who wants to have maybe their first old fragrance and want to go with something very polished, very very elegant, or someone that just loves dirty old fragrances but wants something more versatile mm. and easy to use. Okay. Yeah, and I agree. I'm gonna say this. If you want a sweet oud that is super mass appealing, that most people will find super attractive on you, then go for Haltan. If you prefer something that is not as sweet, but still is a very appealing kind of oud, then go for oud for greatness. So spicy oud, sweet oud, go for the one you feel is sort of a most what you usually enjoy. So if you enjoy a bit of sweetness, with oud, go for this one. If you prefer something more spicy, go for oud for greatness. So I sort of um, feel that you will go for oud for greatness, but please do share why. Because I can never go with that playboy. Okay, okay, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna be serious about okay. this. Both do smell really good. I'm not in love with Haltan yet. I feel it's growing on me, but I have been in love with Oud for Greatness for so long. Mm. So of course I'm sticking with Oud for Greatness because it's an amazing fragrance and it's very hard to compete with that one. Mm, and I agree. I mean Oud for Greatness is one of my fragrances for life for a reason. I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it. Uh, I really do enjoy Haltan though, but between these two, I absolutely 100% will go with Wood for Greatness. And to sort of repeat what I said previously is that I do not, yes, some parts in a specific period of time in the sort of a dry down of these fragrances, they have something that is sort of a similar, but I do feel that they are different. So I do not feel that they are identical in any way. So which one of these do you prefer? Tell us in the comments. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to Rough and Rebels, subscribe to me. The link is in the description. Yes. Have that notification bell on yes. so we can see you next yes, time. Yes, yes, Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.